So what is a compiler? Okay. So we have uh, a programming language, uh, let's say the source programming language. Typically this is uh, high level like uh, like SML for example, Java, C, etc. And we have a uh, target programming language. Typically this is a low level like uh, let's say machine language or assembly language of some processor okay. sometimes uh, C, C can uh, serve as a low level language sometimes C can serve as a portable low level language so we have a source language, source programming language, and a target programming language, a compiler. Compiler is just a program that converts programs written in the source language to equivalent program that means that does the same thing uh, to equal program in the target okay. for the rest of the lecture we fix a following example okay our source language the source language is the language of expressions uh, uh, over natural numbers with operators being being plus and multiplication okay so for example a valid program for us in the source language would be let's say 2 plus 3 and 5. This is an example of a valid program in our language. It's a pretty simple uh, programming language and it's only for illustration. Okay. So our um, target language is the uh, machine language for a simple stack machine. Okay. So what is the stack machine? So it's a machine with a stack and the following instruction. Okay. So the instructions are push a natural number exec an operator of is an operator plus or star in this case then um, show uh, print this prints the top of the stack and that's it uh, there are the just three instructions okay push natural number execute an operator so when you do uh, exec of op top two elements of the stack is taken out uh, the operator is applied and pushed back okay for example if you look at this uh, example 2 plus 3 times 5 the equivalent code for your on the stack machine so 2 plus 3 times 5 compiles to the equivalent program for that would be push 2, push 3, push 
phi then a x x star x x plus and finally print that so this would be the code that corresponds to this so this is the source language a slightly higher level language target language is a low level language like machine machine uh, the stack machine let's talk a bit about the representation of the programs okay so for the user if you look at it user presents program as a string okay or rather as a as a file but that file contains Okay. So we will think of the user uh, input as a string. The compiler output this is typically a machine code, okay, which is also a string, okay, as an executable file. So for us, you can think of the compiler as a function which takes strings to strings. Okay. Yet this is not a very good representation of uh, compilers. So there there are couple of reasons for that. First, not all strings are valid programs. For example, if you take the expression case, two plus is not a valid program okay so string is an over approximation to our programs the second point is that uh, strings are not convenient to process are not convenient to process for the compiler okay so uh, for the user it makes sense to input uh, the program as a string but for the compiler this is not a, a convenient uh, representation okay typically a, a complex compiler will uh, be a series of transformation which starts with ls and which is transformed to some l1 then which is transformed to some l2 etc etc it goes on and after some uh, stages it uh, transforms to the target uh, code right so in each of these cases representing them as string is not e economic and it's not a good representation for the internals of the compiler a more convenient representation of programs inside the compiler is through its abstract syntax trees or parse trees uh, so in the compile compiler literature it is often called parse trees okay so to illustrate what abstract syntax tree is let's consider the expression language and let's consider a particular program 2 plus 3 times 4 okay i put brackets to illustrate which order in uh, the order in which the operators are applied the expression can be represented as a following tree okay in general uh, expression uh, can be any expression can be represented by uh, labeled binary tree with the following properties labels all leaves are labeled by natural numbers uh, all uh, internal nodes have degree Two and are labeled by a plus or a star. Okay. Now uh, it is not difficult to convince you uh, convince yourself that any such tree gives a unique expression. Okay. Any such tree gives a unique expression. so this kind of binary trees better represent the expression uh, language these binary trees represent 
the expression language better. Okay. So uh, we have already seen that uh, such trees can be nicely represented by a set of inductive rules. So, so in our case, we can represent these trees by giving a kind of grammar which we call the abstract sentence. So the expression is either n, n a natural number or it is an expression plus expression or it is an expression multiplied by an expression. Having seen the abstract syntax uh, or past trees, we now go back to uh, how the programs are represented as strings because the user anyway has to give the programs as strings. Okay? In this context, what we want to talk about is the concrete syntax or grammar of the, of the programming language. Okay? Let's come back to the expression language. Okay? So let us, uh, let us give a context free language um, that captures all expressions okay so such a grammar can be written give, given by looking at this grammar e is either some number or it is e plus e or e times e or bracket e bracket we need the bracket to make sure that uh, we can uh, disambiguate expressions okay so uh, this grammar that gives you all the valid strings okay so natural number natural number is uh, 0 1 2 9 uh, followed by uh, 0 to 9 let's say multiple times okay so uh, this grammar captures all possible valid uh, expressions as strings okay the, co the context free grammar it need not be context free but yeah most cases it is the context free grammar that captures all uh, strings that are valid uh, programs is called the concrete syntax or just grammar okay. typically the compiler is now arranged in a set of three phases okay the first is the parsing phase where the input string is converted to the AST of the source language. If the input is not valid, uh, the compiler flags a syntax error at this phase. Okay. The second uh, pass or second phase is uh, where uh, we call the code generation where you convert the AST of source to the AST of target and finally you pretty print uh, the convert uh, pretty print the target uh, AST which is the AST of target language to which forms the executor. Parsing page is called the front end and the code generation plus pretty printing is called back of the company. 